More new Puppet War. <laughs> Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at the latest and greatest from Puppet Swar uh, for their October Patreon. I know it's kind of towards the end of the month, but that's okay. You can still get some of these prints I'm about to show you here, as well as some of their resin cast miniatures, which I don't think I've showed you yet on this channel, at least in the, the post kind of 3D craze, because I've been talking about them since about 2016 when I discovered their, their Prime Battle Walker that was only like 45 bucks at the time. Actually, I think it's only like $50 now, and it's the perfect alternative for Imperial Knight. Unfortunately, I don't have one of those to show you today. <laughs> I wish I did. Uh, but that thing is perfect size, and if you get a chance, definitely uh, you're going to want to check that one out. But they wanted me to talk about this stuff and their, their new Patreon, and I found a couple of uh, cool miniatures to print out and show you guys just how easy it really is to uh, you know get all sorts of dope-looking alternatives for a price that's uh, pretty nice. So this is their Patreon page and for, well, it used to be as little as $6 a month and maybe now $8 a month if you can get in on this, uh, this limited offering right here, but probably for $10 a month, uh, you can get all of their most recent miniature designs. Uh, and I think their uh, Patreon here might be one of the, the better for value. And the reason I'm uh, just, showing you real quick this is the welcome pack that you get here and i think they've been on patreon for a year now which is an awesome milestone and, and you know happy birthday to them as well here's a couple of sneak peeks for november the thing i like about them is that they are always gonna have uh, i believe at least one design from their orcs and their strikers uh, which are great space marine alternatives and their bugs range. And sometimes they, they squeeze in a few other things like some of the Bushido stuff uh, that they do that's, uh, that's always really dope looking. But I think for your money, you know, those are some really good factions and some really good uh, alternatives or stand-ins or proxies or whatever you want to call them or some great painting projects in general. And they're all usually very modular, which I'm about to show you. But being how it is towards the end of the month here and we weren't able to get this recorded quite as fast as i would have liked um you know due to various uh yeah, stupid uh circumstance i suppose but you can always still pick up their digital files and even uh resin prints from them over on their actual site too so while this is a better deal to pledge and then you get all of the stls you can go to their site and get the stuff a la carte of course um, like here's some uh, stuff as you can see here, like the digital files and, and things like that. Um, and then that you can also get like the printouts and things. Uh, like I said, they always are gonna have an insectoid, an orc and a striker is just depending on what you know the, the theme is for the month. Um, and they've always had something really fresh and I, I've, I'm generally impressed with, with the things they going on um, there. Now you can also, of course, and here's your, here's your print section here, digital files and then the actual uh, resin stuff here and you can get into here and really start kind of digging into it and just grabbing what you want and there's all sorts of w different ways to make things um, with like bundles and just all sorts of wild uh, customizations and things you can do here I forget where the striker stuff is oh there's some of it but you can get in here and you can just get bits you can just get you know the the full bodies because you might want to put your plastic bits or just kind of depending on what kind of look you're looking for and things like that and don't forget they've got uh the prime battle walkers which are always amazing and also um uh the uh what is it the um the strikers are always good too but their bikes are even uh, very very cooler you know if you need some sort of bikes definitely check out uh, what they got going on there i don't think they've offered them in the, the digital stuff quite yet but uh, i'm sure we will see more of that shortly but let's take a look speaking of digital let's take a look at some of these printouts we've done uh, some of the older stuff we did and some of the newer stuff from this month in october 2022's uh, Patreon and then show you how they compare to some other sizes out there and check out some of their resin minis as well. So starting out real quick with some of their resin stuff, I wanted to show you these of uh, the Prime Riders. Now they have a, a whole squad configure over on their site where you can get like the different cores here depending on what you want to do. But I mean, this is a really solid kind of look, I feel like. And it's a nice chunky piece of resin, very crisp. Got a lot going on. The gates are on the bottom, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. Um, I'm not sure. I think that's... 
I guess it's just some sort of peg. I'm not sure why you'd have a peg down there. Oh, maybe they use these for jet bikes too. That would actually be pretty smart. But for these, there's definitely tires and stuff. And all this stuff goes together very, very easily um, with minimal effort. And then they have the handlebars and you can get different arms and stuff for your guys. And then the riders right here, you can see they just kind of slot into here. So very, very cool stuff. You may remember Kenny from Next Level Painting did some uh, very, very cool samurai themed versions of these for his white scars back in the day um four or five six years ago by now I, I don't even know at this point it was definitely a while back so and then of course there's the different arm options and you have the, the handlebars as well and then when they are assembled get this out of here this is roughly what they're going to look like that's the the larger outrider base i believe and they are very crisp and this guy actually, well, I don't want to force it. It looks like it might have shrank just a smidge and I don't want to bust anything here, but you can customize the, the front armor plate right here. Um, obviously the legs, there's a place for a magnet up here if you want to put a banner or you can just, you know, put pretty much whatever you want there that, that they have available. Um, and there's stowage and things you can of course put on there if you want. And then the guns are kind of back here, sort of hiding. I think it's a really, really cool. Uh, and they also have the prime gunners which are very similar to, they say prime. Uh, so <laughs> they would definitely make uh, some very good counts as a uh, primary space Marines. Of course, you, you might have to get some shoulder pads and such, but I don't feel like that's a, that's a huge ass. They also have magnets in the back here. And the reason they have magnets in the back there is because as I showed you in the past, they have these other models, they're digital stuff and everything has pre-drilled magnet holes. So you could, in theory, Turn these guys into assault troops not that they actually exist in the game of warhammer 40k right now or say you want to use them for a different game well you could actually absolutely do that or you could future proof your minis by having that ready of course these are resin so they're going to be a little bit more expensive out of the gate because you're going to have to purchase them from them or i suppose wait for them to do something similar in 3d prints like we showed you here and then it'll be like fully customizable with magnets and everything um, this stuff was great and like I said, usually each month they'll, they'll kind of offer an orc um, with some of the prime strikers and then some of their insectoid uh, line right there. But I've showed you this before, I'll probably pin the video um, or make it uh, the card up there so you can click on that and check that out. Now speaking of their Patreon in 3D designs, this month they have some really cool stuff too. They had some orc bikers and I printed, a, I printed out this one. Um, because it's cool because it's a pod racer, right? <laughs> Why would you not? It's got a nice little flat bottom so you can glue it onto the base here. And then it's uh, because of the way the, the little winglet right there is with the gun, then it kind of like tilts up a little bit, you know? So it kind of gives it a little bit dynamic uh, motion, which I thought was really cool. But this is a really neat design. Um, it goes together and it's very customizable. You get all sorts of the, they call them different cores. Um, there's different handlebars, different different arms you could do on these guys. You don't really can customize this up here per se, but it's more about the rider. And again, they've got the magnet hole back there. You can kind of do whatever you want. Uh, if you want to make it even more customizable, there's a bunch of different heads and such. Uh, this was really neat. I really enjoyed this print right here. This turned out very well. And this actually has a first coat of primer over it, believe it or not. So you know, you can get some really, really nice prints out of here and the, that will look great even with a coat of primer over top of it. Not that that is usually a problem, but just kind of something I wanted to mention there. Um, and then we've got this guy here, which I love this guy and he is super customizable. Um, you can mag and they got all sorts of different uh, options here. You can magnetize them at the waist so you can have the Robocop action. Uh, the hands are magnetizable. You could mirror the weapons here. Um, there's two different weapons that come with it, all with pre drilled magnet holes. That you got the Gatler and you got the plasma right here. Uh, if you mirror those, you could have a dual wielding kind of guy over here. Then they've got uh, the little weapon, little baby weapons. That's a flamer bit right there. And they also make a um, sort of like a bolter sort of thing, which is really cool. Top turret is also customizable. Uh, these are actually glued in, but just to kind of give you an idea, you, you, you can put a clear plate across there. Um, you don't have to put these shoulder pads on. There's a couple of different heads, which go right in here that just to kind of give you an idea what those look like because I couldn't magnetize them. You got that guy right there. So you can do some some fifth element kind of look and you got this like uh, automated robot duder sort of thing that would be great with like a double Gatler. 
or you can use the plate here, which this thing locks in pretty cool. I was really impressed with that. And just have like a, this really cool look uh, to, you know, just kind of like there's a, hey, there's a pilot in there. I guess uh, like everybody's favorite Overwatch character. Now, how does it compare size-wise? Like those are both 60 mil bases. So it is basically the size of a Contemptor Dreadnought if you're looking to kind of count as something um, for your games of Warhammer 40K. It seems like that would be pretty reasonable and with all the different options the legs aren't quite as posable uh, but that it's you know i build enough legs that it's like kind of posable is kind of a pain in the butt in some cases you almost need a third arm or a third hand to hold on to it just to kind of get it in there and um pose it correctly and then you get like these weird like sort of poses that kind of look like not really human movement and i think uh you know we, we as humans always look at eyes we always look at how things walk and we want it to look very human and i think that's that's why that boston dynamics like robot thing robot dog thing is so creepy uh it doesn't look creepy but it moves creepy and i think we as we as humans don't like that so we want to see good movement and good posing uh, of legs and these that's uh, pretty much how it's going to come uh, you could mirror it so it would go like if you want multiples of these so it could go either way and that's what's cool about these files that you that you can get from either a patron or their actual website is that you you get so many different options and for us we don't use the pre-supported stuff we use we support the stuff our, ourselves with our machines because it actually comes with the software to do it shockingly enough and that stuff is great because they're going to come with the pre-supports and that way you'll get an idea if you need to actually do the supports you'll have a great idea of how they supported it and you can just kind of use their files as a cheat sheet uh, to support yours which is kind of what we do but kind of not too um, when it comes to uh, to our prints here so just uh, some ideas there depending on your particular 3d printing workflow that may be uh, a boon for you I, I don't really know so Overall, I think uh, I think every month they have a really great offering on Patreon. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, every month to talk about that here on the channel because we got a lot of a lot of ground to cover, a lot of other things to talk about here. But if there is uh, some other stuff you'd like to take a look at, maybe we could do it in the next uh, video we do for Puppets War here in the future. I would love to go back and take another look at the Prime Battle Walker because um, I don't think we've talked about that in about six or seven years now. So that's it for this one. Make sure you, you check them out over there on Patreon. That's probably the best and most economical way to get access to all their files. Uh, is to, to sub to that every month and there they've already been going for one year strong so happy birthday to them and uh, you know do yourself a favor and i think you know you might want to scoop up at least if you're into sci-fi war gaming uh that might be one of the best ones out there to pledge uh for you just because it's standardized and you kind of already always know that you're going to probably get something from one of those factions that you're going to use each month and then if you happen to play another one well then boom goes the dynamite just uh, print that stuff out there so make sure you check it out over at uh, patreon.com forward slash puppets war if you liked that video feature, consider supporting us over at patreon.com and get back in the mail each month a miniature crate full of some of the stuff we review here as well as some of the top 3D artist designs out there too to help support what they're doing. Plus, discount coupon codes from some of those same manufacturers. They're yours to keep whether you cancel or stay on. Just It's totally up to you. Obviously, we want to keep you as happy as possible. So check it out over at patreon.com forward slash spikybits.